I am Simrita. First of all, thank you very much for motivating us. You are an amazing motivator. Thank you so much. My question is that how can we manage our school, coaching classes and then self study? Because first of all after going to school and coaching classes, I am very much tired and I don't have that time and energy to do self study. You have to understand here that you're working with a resource which is equal for everyone. 24 hours. right it is a resource that is equal to everybody right now so can we agree on one thing that you cannot complain about the lack of resources or a discrimination in the division of resources ab ye nahi keh sakte ki bhai mujhe 22 mile hain usko 26 mile hain we have we are in agreement that the resources are the same theek hai which leads us to the next point now the whole conversation is not about the availability of the resource the whole conversation will become about the division of the resource so the, the whole conversation is not now about whether i have the resource or not it's about the proper utilization of the resource which is largely down to you you know you can and i think the number one tool i will suggest for you to use is prioritization prioritization which means for you to figure out what is most beneficial for me यू पुट इट प्रायोरिटी नंबर वन मुझे सेल्फ स्टडी सबसे ज्यादा बेनिफिशियल लगती है और सेल्फ स्टडी के बिना मेरी स्टडी अधूरी है फिर मुझे उसको प्रायोरिटी नंबर वन रखना है एंड देन अदर थिंग्स फॉलो आफ्टर दैट मुझे इस ट्यूशन पे जाके इस टीचर की कही गई बात इस तरह से अच्छी समझ आती है उसके बिना यह सब्जेक्ट समझ नहीं आता देन फॉर मी दैट ट्यूशन इज प्रायोरिटी नंबर वन ठीक है एंड थर्ड सिनारियो विल बी वट इज द थर्ड थिंग फॉर स्कूल यू नो फॉर मी the extra curricular activities or the sports or other things or my friends that happen in school they are the most unke bina i feel very depressed i would go into depression then that priority number 1 you cannot expect somebody else to give you these priorities because a your learning style is different b what you are gaining from every resource is different so you have to determine for me for example when i was in grade 10th i'll give you a little example what i did was for all my science subjects i took a cassette recorder and during the revision part of it i recorded everything I recorded everything on an audio, so that I would be able to listen to it on a frequent basis. That worked for me. I'm an auditory person. You know, people can be operating in two or three different categories. कुछ लोग visual, visually better सीखते हैं, कुछ लोग सुन के ज़्यादा सीखते हैं, कुछ लोग flip chart पे देखकर, कुछ लोग presenter से देख. So whatever is working best for you, you have to understand your strengths and weaknesses, and then organize your day around it. For some people, self study is the most important thing. भी उसके बिना मेरा दिन अधूरा है, वो मेरी पढ़ाई हो नहीं सकी. ठीक है, so if that is the case for you, you put that first, and then find ways to reduce time. So it is not a game of time management, because manage a most resource को करेंगे, which is different for everybody. Here the game is about resource allocation. Resources limited and also resources the same. Now how do I allocate it? How do I do that? I do it based on my priorities. What works the best for me? Tuition works best for me, so tuition is priority number one. self study works best that is number 1 so this is where you are i know it's difficult what you are going through what every single person is going through uh, you know the exam stress there is loads of expectations there is so much that is expected from you there is very little time and the spirit wants to do so many other things you want to go out and have fun you want to do, do so many other things you want to be on social media you want to watch that video you want to watch the new movie you want to watch gully boy and hoodi and other things all the movies that are coming in you want to do things that normal human beings would like to do but this is a time where it's a very simple law applies it is called the law of paying the price what is the law law of paying the price which means daam chukaoge to wo cheez milegi if you don't pay the price you're not going to get it very simple during this two or three years if you will pay the price now i paid the price for this session here today i spent my time my energy my creativity my resources my intellect everything to make sure that i give you a good interaction मेरी तरफ से कभी ना रहता है द सेम यू डू फॉर एनी एग्जाम वेन यू एंटर द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल दिस वन क्वेश्चन यू शुड बी एबल टू आंसर कॉन्फिडेंटली मेरी तरफ से कोई कमी तो नहीं रहे एज मच एज पॉसिबल अगर रही भी है उसको वही ड्रॉप करना है यू कॉन्ट डू एनी थिंग अबाउट इट नाउ नाउ आई एंटर द हॉल विद फ्री माइंड एंड आई डू माई बेस्ट आई हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देर इज सो मच सो मेनी एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम मी आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू फुलफिल दम ऑल बट आई डू माई बेस्ट एनी वे बट द फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन यू गॉट टू आस्क इज right now is the time am i using it well do i see any gaps anywhere and if yes how can i overcome that so it's a process of self introspection during the exam time don't be so caught up with all the pressures 
दैट आपको रिफ्लेक्ट करने का टाइम ही ना मिले मेरी स्ट्रैटेजी सही है कि नहीं हार्डवर्क के साथ साथ स्ट्रैटेजी भी बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है आई टेल यू शेयर सीक्रेट विद यूर ऑन कैमरा I studied French for थ्री years. I did a hotel management course, uh, which was the Ministry of Tourism का course था उसमें mandatory थी to study French. So we had a wonderful French teacher come in from Orleans Francais uh, in Chandigarh, uh, Madam Mrs. Anju Sharma. And Mrs. Anju Sharma, if you're watching this video, I do apologize for being a very naughty kid in your class and not listening to you properly. And that is the reason why, still date, I don't speak French, right? So that was an opportunity missed. But I was able to pass the French examination. I did not fail it. I did not fail the French exam. I passed it. You know how? Strategy. Strategy. Oh, be seniors never die. Take the last five, six years examination papers. You know this, this, this is do this, study in this way, do that, and I was able to, you know, pass that examination. So I'm not suggesting you do that. <laughs> that is not the suggestion. What I am suggesting is have a strategy as well as hard work. You don't know these because exam is see. एग्जाम इज नॉट गोइंग टू मेजर योर सेल्फ वर्थ एग्जामिनेशन आपके ड्रीम्स नहीं रेट पता उसको पोटेंशियल नहीं पता सब कुछ नहीं पता इट्स अ लिमिटेड सिस्टम हेयर आर द टेन क्वेश्चन कैन यू आंसर दैन मन नॉट उसके ऊपर आपका काफी कुछ निर्भर है अग्री डिस अग्री इट्स डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट सो फॉर मी टू ओवरकम दैट हर्डल और टू गो थ्रू दैट चैलेंज आई नीड टू हैव अ स्ट्रैटेजी इफ यू प्ले क्रिकेट यू हैव अ स्ट्रैटेजी स्पोर्ट्स फोक्स वेर आर यू Before you start any game, you have a strategy. Opener कौन होगा फील्डिंग किन्हें करनी है यू नो विकेट कीपर कि हाउ आई हैव टू डिवाइड ऑल दो थिंग्स सो strategy is going to be the same with distribution of your time am i spending too much time commuting every day from one place to another you must be right you are yes or no are you spending a lot of time commuting how do you spend your commuting time do you do you have to ride your own vehicle or somebody takes you somebody takes you there then what are you doing in the car during that time nothing so that that's an opportunity right How can you use that opportunity? Very simple trick. Take your subjects which you find difficult. Lay out the unka nichod nikal lo. What are the fundamentals of them? Like I was teaching my daughter the other day. She was struggling with mathematics. I was teaching her very simple rules, right? Like anything multiplied by zero is going to be zero. Um, and if you have to plus one to some, she would. If I will say, okay, uh, seven plus one is what she will go one. I said, okay. If you have to plus one to anything, you just go the next number. And very simple tricks I taught her. These are called the. um the founding principles of any subject every subject has that if you take them down and you record them in your own voice for example and put them in your headphones and when you're going to and fro you can use it or you have your condensed notes in something you can recall is very very important please remember this in your effort to score well or to grasp any subject not only your ability to learn but also your ability to revise and recall because you're going to forget a lot of information very very quickly i use a lot of quotations i quote a lot of speakers in my speeches how am i been able to do that over the last 10 years i like a quote i will write it down on a small piece of paper and it stays with me i have 10000 of them in a big bag whenever i get time i just flip through them i'm on a long flight i flip through them right i take them on a digital medium i flip through them the ability for the mind to revise once again will going to reinforce the learning and that is going to be a very strong medium through which you will excel in competitive exams of any sort especially on the fundamentals of the of that and then you are able to problems the nature of problems posed in the examination will change but if you if you know the fundamentals well you are able to adapt i hope that answers your question